So this is solving exponential equations like this. And so how do I get rid of that 4, or is there another way to solve it? Well, first I want to like remind you of a few things that are super important. 5 to the first is 5, duh. 5 to the second is 25, also pretty much duh. But 5 to the third is one that came up on your last test, and you just probably need to remember it. What is it? 125, good. Let's do a few other biggies, like 4 to the first, duh. 4 to the second, duh, 16. How about 4 to the third, though? Hmm, not many people know that one off the top of their head. 64, very good. Uh, that was 5 and 4. How about 3? Three? 3 to the first, duh. 3 to the second, duh. It's 9. 3 to the third, 27. All right, and then the 2s. You might think, well, 2s are super easy. It is, except we go fairly far with them. You have to be able to go all the way to 2 to the 4th. What's 2 to the 1st? 2. 2 to the 2nd? 4. 2 to the 3rd? And 2 to the 4th? 16. you got to know that one. Okay. So I want to uh, just start with a super easy one. And these are just kind of like logic. If I said 2 to the x is 2 to the 10th, if you think for a second, just use logic, what's x got to be? X has to be 10. Think about it. 2 to the 10th is 2 to the 10th, right? Now, that doesn't just happen automatically for people. They're, they're like, wait a minute. What? what why? Is, okay. Oh, I guess 2 to the 10th is 2 to the 10th. All right. But we actually have an official thing in math. It's right here. It's on page 2 of the notes. It says, for exponential functions, which basically the x is the exponent, b to the u is b to the y, or b to the v, then u equals v. I like to just say it this way. If these two are equal, then these two have to be equal. If the bases are the same, the answer's already there. Remember that little saying from logs? All right. If we can get the bases the same. All right. And the same thing happens with logs. If this log is the same as this log, then this has to equal this. You know, that'd be like this. Log base 3 of 11 is log base 3 of, if I put an x here, well, just use logic. Doesn't the x have to be 11? Yeah. It's almost like you can knock these out. Now, it is not canceling those logs. Mathematically, they don't cancel. But what you can do is say, this has to equal that. This equals that. Okay. So, we're going to use that a lot today. Because typically, you have a question like this. And remember everybody saying, if we can make the bases the same, the answer will be there. Well, I just practiced this so that this would be easy. 125 is really what to the what? 5 to the 3rd. And now, are the bases the same? Yeah. So then the answer is already there. X equals 3. Do you remember doing this in Algebra 2 last year? Yeah, we did this. How about this one? Well, it's the same exact, exact problem, but I'm going to do it differently. Okay. Uh, it's, it's like the bases need to be the same, and then the answer will already be there, and it has a 5 to the 3rd in it. Okay, but I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do it with logs. Do you remember that you can make a log out of things? We just had a test on this. If I had just said, make this into a log, you'd have been like, okay, and then log... You'd be like, what should I use for the base? Nope. nope. The 125. Because it has the power on it. Everything has a power of 1. So everything in a way is a base. But in this problem, you do log base 125. And then you remember the circle of logs of 5 equals x. And then do you remember I said on that last test, the people that are good at making exponents are going to be the ones who would get the A on that test. And some of you guys conquered the exponents like this. This needs to be a 125. Because if it was, then I could say whatever the power is, is the answer. So how can I make a 5 be a 125? So I, I strongly recommend this. You write it out and you go 125, 125 to the what? That's what you want. You want it to be a 125, right where that 5 is. 
All right, catch up to me. So, is 125, is it possible to turn it into a five by putting it to a power? Yeah. Would it be to the first power? No. Second power? No, it's, it's going the wrong way. How about to the zero power? Mm, that'd be one. At least it got smaller. So then how about some other weird power, like negative one? Is that it? No, that would flip it. One third. One third. Yes. Now do you get that the answer to this thing is one third? Yes. Could you do it like right from like the beginning? Yes, yes. There's another way to do it. Okay. And I'll, we'll talk about that. But I just want to make sure you get these can be logs. Because the reason that I care about knowing the logs is that Sometimes your answers only can be done with logs. But what she was saying is right from here, couldn't you have just made this into a five to the third? Yeah. Why would that be smart to make this a five to the third? The bases are the same then. Now that it's a five to the third, then the bases are the same. So the answer is already there, but it's like, it's not that easy yet. I have to put this to a power of one, and then I have to say three x equals one. Three x equals one. So then I have to solve it. Look at that, it came out to one third again. The same answer, like I showed you with the logs way, and then this is the other way. That's my goal for today is that you can look at each of these and go, oh, I could do this with logs. Or I could do it by making the bases the same. Okay, so let's look at this. This is problem three, so don't look at the three really. Are the bases the same right now? No. Could I make 64 into a 16 to a power? Uh, 16 to the first, 16 to the second? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So, what you do is you figure out, could I make them both have a different base? Could they both be something else as a base? Hint, yes, they could both be a different base. Four, because this one and this one could both be four to a power. Now, you can't just go around changing a 16 to a four. Like, mathematically, that's not true. But 4 squared, you could do that. And you could change the 64 into 4 to the... Nope, close. 4 to the first? No, too small. 4 to the second? 16. 4 to the third. Now, what have I done wrong? Because 4 to the second is not equal to 4 to the third. Like, this statement here is false. Something's wrong. I just forgot to bring down the X. Do you get, I just replaced a 64 with a four to the third. That's why I practiced those at the beginning. So you'd be like, yeah, I've seen that before. Four to the third is 64. Okay, and now are the bases the same? Then the answer's already there. It's just this equals this. It's just, the answer's not glaringly obvious. It's just, I gotta know that that's the key then. Once the bases are the same, that equals that. 2 equals 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3, 2 thirds. Now I want to show you, I could have done this with logs. Log. And then that will force you to think, what's next? Oh, the base. Which one's the base? Say it if you know it. The base in here. 64 is the base. And then you go to the circle of logs, you go around the horn, over here, 16, and then I'm back over here, equals x. I'm doing it with logs. There was a problem kind of like this on your last test, and most of you figured it out. You can't afford to just, like, brain dump everything you learned last chapter. Do you get, I could make this into a 64? I don't, it's not going to be easy, but I could. And then I'd have log base 64 of 64 to a power. If you have any short-term memory at all, you know that we just solved this problem two seconds ago, and you already know the answer is a fraction. Uh -huh. Two-thirds. Mm. 
Now, that's kind of cheating, but because, like, would you have known that this was 64 to the two-thirds? I would have taken the third root of 64, and then I'd have known that, oh, that brings it down to 4, and then I just got to square the 4 to get it up to 16. That's why it's two-thirds. So you have two choices on your test. You can do it with the logs, or you can do it with making the bases the same. So why is this? This logs thing seems tricky. So why would I want to use the logs thing? Because sometimes you can't make the base the same. Like, can you make an 8 into a 5 to a power? No. Then you have to use logs. <coughs> so <coughs> write me a log for this one. X is solved when it's alone. So if you do this right, if you make your log right, your X will get alone really quick. I know. Sometimes I say, like, here, make it a log, and you're like, I don't know how to make it a log. We'll start by writing the word log. And then you'll be forced to think, what's next? I guess I need a base. Oh, it's base five. And then I might get the pump started. Like, oh, yeah, then I got to go around here, and then I got to go around here, and it equals X. And that doesn't feel very satisfied because it's like, uh, I don't know what log base 5 of 8 is, but that's the answer. Because you can't simplify it anymore, but how do you know you're done? X is alone. See how X is alone here? Then you're done. All right, so what if it was 5 to the X over 2 equals 11? Hint. First thing you do, look and see if you can make a base of the same, and you can't. So then you gotta go to logs. Logs is the only way. Write a log, and once you've got the log, don't stop till the x is alone. I'm gonna pause for a second while you give this one a try. Please feel free to talk to the kid next to you after you get the log written, maybe you could compare them, and then maybe together you can figure out how the heck do you get x alone. All right, I start with logs. I told you that this one has to have logs. Why? Because you can't make this into 5 to a power. So if I can't make the bases the same, then i got to write a log. Log, and then I'm forced to think about which one of these is the base. Uh, the 5 is, because it's got the power on it. I mean, this has a power 2, but it's just a 1, so that doesn't really count. 5 is the one we want to use. And then we go around the horn, circle of logs, around the horn again, x over 2. And then I hope you realize that all you had to do was times both sides by two. I have tried to tell you, clear the fractions like a million times. There's a fraction right there. Clear it by multiplying by the denominator. So there is your answer. Now, I know some of you might be remembering this little trick. Could this two go up here? Yes, but you don't have to. But you could. Remember that deal? That could be in the front or it could be up there. Now, personally, I think most teachers would have you leave the two in front, but if somebody moved it there, I would have totally said, okay, cool, you can put it there. All right, that's pretty much it, boys and girls. So we're just gonna go through the rest of the slides and try to figure out which ones we can do with making the bases the same and which ones we can do with logs. Can you make the bases the same on this one? Yes, yes you can. And so we should. Because if you can make the bases the same, it's the, it's the easy way. And Garrett, what do you think would be a good base? Nine? No. No. Three. Three. So we're going to make this 27 into a three to a power. Three to the what? Three to the first? No. Three to the second? No. Three to the third? Yeah. There we go. And then don't forget, I would put it in parentheses. You don't have to, but it's smart because that is that. They're equal. Then it'll help you remember to bring down the 3x. See, some of you probably forgot that there's now two threes there. And now this 9. Make a parenthesis and change it into... 3 to the first? No, 3 to the second. Yeah, 3 to the second. And then this x plus 5 is out here. And I know a mistake 
that some of you are going to make. I am positive that from here, it's not just going to be all like, oh, easy, I got the answer. Does anybody else see where it's going to probably happen? I can see it. It's not going to be this, because most people are going to know that that's times, and 3 times 3 is 9, 9x. I don't think that's going to be a problem for most people. But over here, I think people are going to say 2x plus 5. But they should say 2x plus 10. Do you get how that's... It's in a parenthesis. That's why I said the parenthesis would be smart. Do you get how you can say this 2 is times the x and the 5? Math rewards careful people. You don't have to be a careful person. But if you are... You'll benefit from that in math. Almost done. Thank you. Remove those. Thank you. I just need you to be with me fully for the next couple minutes. Oh, you're taking a test. My bad. I thought you were taking notes and you're not. My bad. Okay. You can have those in there. All right. So now we're trying to get this finalized in the, as the X alone yet, Riker. No. So what do we do? Two minus 2x, two minus 2x, two and then 2x, minus x, minus 2x, 7x equals 10, and then divide by 7, divide by 7, 10, 7. Okay, next slide. We're almost done here, boys and girls. Scribble out the problem 5, it'll just make you think it's part of the problem, and it's not. Can I make the bases the same? Um... Well, there's something I could do that would make it a lot easier. You know what? Divide both sides by something. Seven. You can always divide both sides by something, can't you? Why would I want to do that? Because that makes that gone, and now it's just three to a power, and now that's just three, and yay! They got the same base. So the bases are the same. The answer's already there. There's a 3 to a 1 right there, isn't there? So finish it from there. Don't let me forget, today I got to have you turn in the uh, top 20 worksheets that I gave you, uh, not yesterday, but the day before. Uh, and I just I forgot in this hour yesterday to collect them, so then I couldn't collect them in my next hour to make it fair. So you've had time to do it. I get you're busy people. Some of you guys have had AP tests and whatever, but um, that worksheet, I'll collect it today. You can still turn it in tomorrow or the next day, but I want to collect them today. Okay, negative x over 5 equals 1, and then you kick into, if you can factor it, you should. Well, there's no factoring, but there is clearing fractions. You should have times by 5 on both sides. That is, the first thing you do is look for factoring. The second thing you do is look to clear fractions. If there is any fractions, you clear them. Now I have negative x equals 5, and then how do I get rid of a negative 1? That totally works. Well, you could have times by negative 1 also, and the answer either way is negative 5. Who had negative 5 before I said it? Okay, good. I think that's enough. I think you get it. Do you get that if you can't make the bases the same, then you're going to have to use logs? So if I, for instance, on this problem, 3 to the x equals 58, I can't think of 3 to the anything that makes 58. So then I'm going to have to use logs. Log base 3, 58. Done. How am I done? Because x is alone. Now, we aren't doing any expanding or condensing today. We did it for two days in a row. But it's kind of like that in a way, because you remember that deal where if I said, if you, have you expanded it all the way yet? And it was like this. Um, let's make it log base 3. Log base 3 of 4, log base 3 of 5, uh, x. The way you can tell if you're done is you look here and you see, could I break that up? Yeah, that's 2 squared. And then you bring the 2 to the front. Good. Could I break that up? Yeah. 
So I can make two logs, log base three of five and log base three of X. And since this was times, I'd make it plus. Now, can I break this up? You keep going back and looking, can I break it up? Can I break it up? All right. Well, here today, you keep looking at your X and you ask yourself, is the X alone yet? Nope. So what do I do? I guess I got to do the log thing. Now you look like this and you go, am I done yet? Is the X alone? That's what you're asking. Is the X alone yet? If the X is alone, you're done. You got this solved. Now, if this happened to be like a nine or a 27, then you should simplify this, but you can't make the bases the same. So then you're stuck and you just leave it like that. X is alone. So it's log base three of 58. All right, this part we have a worksheet and I believe we're only doing the odds today. Don't forget when there's E involved, you're doing log base E, AKA LN. So you're gonna have a log base E at the end of this problem. I'm just gonna show you one. E to the two X equals 15. It says evens only. Oh, evens, sorry. Doing evens today on the worksheet. Uh, and then here you do log base E. Yes, that's the same as LN, but I like to write log base E of 15 equals 2x. And then I could divide both sides by 2 or multiply by a half. That's an example of one that has a log base E. I don't think they're that much different. As long as you know that E can be a log base. All right, let's do the evens number two on the worksheet. You're going to fly through this today. You're probably going to have extra time. Uh, and that's good because I have a math behind it that I want to do at the end of the hour. But for right now, we can focus on that worksheet, hopefully crank it out. Singer, can you read me number two? Six to the X equals one. Equals one? All right. Now, can you make those bases the same? And your instinct might be, no, you can't, but you can. You know why? Because one could be six to the what? Six to the zero. Now we made the bases the same. So the answer's already there. X must be zero. Now, if you wanted, you could do logs. Let me just show you. Log base six of one equals X. Oh, you won the argument. You get zero. See, you get to do it both ways. Now, am I gonna make you do it both ways? No, but it would have worked. Some of you will just gravitate towards the logs way. And this is the, the th thing I can say about logs. You can answer every question with logs. And it's only sometimes that you can make the bases the same. You know what I mean? The quadratic formula is like that. It can do any quadratic, even ones that have imaginary answers. The quadratic formula can do it. But some only factoring can only solve some of them. But it is easier if you can do it. All right, I'm not thinking you won't be stuck at some point, but you have a key, you have the answers, you do, or questions, answers, you got a key, just do the evens, and that's all I got for you for today.